Good morning, everyone. Today, I have some things that I wanna get done outside and I'd like to take you along with me. So first up, it's actually an inside thing, is I want to take care of some eggshells that I have been saving. So I need to get those cooked up, <laughs> if you will, and crushed up and into the compost. I need to work on my compost pile a little bit. To get the egg started, I go ahead and I put my oven on 300 or 250 degrees. I set the timer for 30 minutes and I let those eggshells bake for that entire time. Then I'm just pulling out the eggshells and getting them ready to grind up. I use a magic bullet. I don't use my Ninja Big Blender just because I don't wanna have to deal with cleaning it. Um, and then something that I found helpful is taking one of those uh, fermenting pounders so that you can pound down those eggshells and then it makes that job a little bit easier. So I get them pretty ground up put them in a jar, and then they are ready to take down to the compost bin. Before I go outside and try and address the compost situation in my backyard, I want to show you what I am taking down with me. I have some crushed, pulverized, whatever you want to say, eggshells here. These ones I've been storing in the refrigerator. I did these a while ago. And, here are the ones that I did earlier. Okay, and then I have my kitchen scraps, some organic paper plates and little uh, brown paper bags, and then just all the vegetables and things like that, um, leftovers. Now, a lot of these I would ordinarily have put, these scraps I would have put in the freezer to use with chicken or vegetable stock, but my freezer bag is full, so I'm just gonna go ahead and put these in the compost. Also down there, which I'll show you, we have tons of leaves, which I just did a video on leaving the leaves, and I'll put a card up here if you want to watch it. And I have some pumpkins from my neighbors, and then I have a lot of garden debris and things like that that I need to kind of cut up. So let's um, head on down there and figure out what I need to do to get this uh, all organized. Woo, it is a bright today. I am taking you down to my compost pile right now and I will show you what I have. It was really funny. I think I have footage of this and I'll try and pull that up. But Yesterday when I came down here to take a look at what was going on, there was a deer eating one of the pumpkins that my neighbors gave me. And she just kind of stood there and looked at me and she was kind of fine with it. She didn't leave for <laughs> about a minute, so that was pretty funny. Okay, I'm gonna show you what I have here. Here are a couple of those pumpkins I was telling you about, the wildlife really have been having fun with those overnight. Anyway, I have some leaves. I have lots of leaves. I have leaves there and I have leaves all underneath here for browns for my compost. So that's a bag of leaf mold. This is some of the stuff that I cleaned out of the garden. I need to give some of these items a little chop so I should bring down some clippers down to deal with that. Gra right. uh, coffee grounds from Starbucks if you get there early enough you can get a lot of that. I also have um, a lot of coffee grounds from my own house to add. Here is my compost bin that I have been working on underneath that brown paper bag. I have chopped up pumpkins and kitchen scraps and leaves. And then finally over here, this is my leaf mold bin. I will use this as browns for this compost. This area right here gets really wet. I may put down some cardboard for now. I did that before and it seemed to help, but really and truly I need to, you know what, actually I'll make, maybe I'll make one of, make a path with my mulch. You know what, I think I'll do that. There's some more leaf mold right there. That bag is so heavy, guys. It is so heavy, I can't even move it. Okay, so let me back up here. This is the very unorganized area that I am gonna be working on here for the next little bit. Okay, guys, I am gonna get started um, getting some of this material a little smaller for the compost bin. So I'm going to start with the pumpkins 
So I have these. I'm just gonna use like a, a flat edge shovel to kind of like break them up. And then I have these long stems um, from the other compost pile that I am also going to chop up and make smaller so that they can decompose quicker. I highly recommend getting your fall decorations and uh, sending a note out to your neighbors to get their pumpkin decorations to use in your compost bin. So easy to get all chopped up. <laughs> Well, what do you know? Here comes Violet. She always has to be a part of the composting situation. Next up, I have got to get these stems cut up because they will not compost unless you get them smaller. So I'm just using my loppers. Not sure if that is the best tool for the job, but it's really all I have. So that's what I did. Next up, this area was kind of wet and soppy. So I went ahead and got some mulch and then I put down some cardboard just to soak up all that wetness so it would be a little bit more comfortable to work in this area. Following that, I started um, applying a layer of the ground up eggshells from time to time as I was building that compost heap. And then um, every once in a while, I was throwing in one of those bags of coffee grounds from Starbucks. I added some leaf to, leaves to the pile, but then realized um, I had a little too many, so pulled some of those out. Those extras will end up in the leaf compost bin a little bit later today. Next added to the compost pile were my kitchen scraps. So there's the paper plates, the bags, all the peppers and onions and all the uh, waste products from my kitchen. I went up to the house, pulled my hose all the way down, and then from here on out, I am watering these piles every uh, few layers that I put on top of them. I apologize for the subpar camera angle here, but what happened was, and this is hopefully a lesson that you'll learn from me, is when I put in some stems and things like that a while ago, I kind of put them in down there at the bottom. I didn't cut them up so they didn't decompose. They're, they were really dry. There wasn't moisture down there. So I had to get that flat edge shovel and just really break up the material and then use the fork to sift it out so that I could put it lower in the next compost bin. Next up on the to-do list was to go ahead and get all my extra bags of leaf mold that I have all around the yard into the leaf mold bin. And so that just to be the final location for that material. So uh, some of the leaf mold bags that I had had great leaf mold in them and I just had to put it down, give it a little water, but some of the bags had leaves from years ago that were so dry. So basically I must not have put any water in those bags and it was just, you know, two or three year old leaves <laughs> that were not decomposing. So got those into the bin and just, it took a long time and it just kept watering in them and moving them around in that bin. So hopefully they will start that uh, decomposition process here shortly. With the leaf mold been done, I'm gonna go ahead and line really thickly with the cardboard. And just so you know, my feet really aren't that big. Those are my husband's work boots. Those are not my work boots. I don't have work boots and so I have to use his. I am too lazy to go out and buy a pair. If I'm not mistaken, to get this area mulched, it took about four or five loads, wheelbarrow loads of the mulch. And this isn't mulch that I bought. This is free mulch. This is, this is um, arborist wood chips that I get from chipdrop.com. And something that I may have forgotten to mention is that I do like to um, wet down that cardboard before I put the mulch on top. I had to get that last compost bin set up again. I put it on the largest size this time and then secured it into the ground with those used stakes. Okay, more mulch is going down on this path here and I am just about done. 
I really thought that this project was going to take me like an hour or so. It literally took me all day. I think I was out there at 11 and I didn't come back up to the house until about 3.30. I'm going to call this part one of my compost area revamping. I have everything as organized as I want it for right now. Let me just take you on a quick tour around. You come down here. And here is the new and improved compost area. Everything has been mulched here. I put a layer of cardboard underneath just to suppress the weeds. I have a lot of Indian strawberry. So whenever I do anything back here, I try to put some cardboard down to suppress those. Okay, so compost bin number one. This is the new compost bin. So new kitchen scraps go in there with a scoop of leaves from compost bin number three very exciting in there oh my goodness you know you're a total nerd when this is um excitement okay then and next up we have bin number two so this is all of the material that was there before all my new new material all the pumpkins from my neighbors the the ground up eggshells and then everything the hibba composting in here is now on the top of this pile so i have this all fixed up and ready to rock and roll for the spring i could probably even use some of that now and then in compost bin number three we have our leaf mold or our leaves so this can turn into leaf mold that's fine but what i'm primarily going to do is this will be just leaves that i collect over time the ones that i don't use for my neighbors things like that and i will take a scoop of this like i said and put it in the the active compost bin so these can be the browns to go in with the greens so once this has this compost bin has been all used up then i'll make this the active compost bin and then it'll be right next to the leaves so just in case you were wondering why i didn't have the active one here that's why just a little bit of logistics today if you happen to notice the third compost bin has fall leaves that are ground up in it. I got those from a bag that I've been holding on to for a couple years now. I don't ever grind my leaves anymore. If you want to know more about that, I have a video that I put out a couple days ago. I'll put a link to it here so you can check it out. Thank you for tuning in for this compost project. If this content appeals to you, please consider subscribing and I will catch you again next time. Thank you. Yeah.